I want to discuss the ongoing drama now in uh, certain Democratic cities, mainly uh, New York City here. When we dig into that, New York uh, City Mayor Bill de Blasio threatening to sue the Trump administration over what it says is targeted fears to cut federal funding from a number of Democratic-run cities. And for more on that, we're joined by Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan. Uh, and Alexis, it does seem uh, to be quite the threat from Bill de Blasio. Yeah, Zach, and the threat comes in the form of a memo that was from the Trump administration to the Director of Office and Management, uh, man of Management and Budget, as well as AG William Barr. Now, what this memo asks for is for them to review both cities and states in the way that they handle the level of increased violence. It also asks them to consider restricting uh, these city's eligibility for federal grant money, um, also asking to look at both current and future response to law enforcement policy. That's been a big sticking point here and a lot of criticism, of course, coming from the administration on things like refusing federal law enforcement assistance uh, to these cities is also uh, defunding the police. That's been uh, two of the big issues, both mentioned here in this memo. Now, the memo also singles out particular cities. You mentioned one of them, Portland, Seattle, New York City, as well as Washington, D.C. They'll all get these reviews if uh, these reviews actually happen. The memo also points to these huge increases in the level of violence. That is definitely something that has happened. You have New York City with an increase year to date. Shootings, 82 percent increase so far just this year, year over year. July alone, a jump of 177 percent. So no doubt a, a genuine issue here. But look, um, whether this will hold up in court is questionable. Now, there was a federal uh, appellate court decision that came out in February, and it had to do with those sanctuary cities. If you remember, Trump was going after states and wanting to withhold federal funds for that. So um, while some legal experts say it may not likely hold up in court this memo, there is a little bit of precedent here. It might be a little apples and oranges, but in that case, the Trump administration was allowed to withhold these federal funds. I mean, certainly, obviously, not just impacting New York here, but a lot of uh, Democratic-led cities and a lot of drama around all this, again, as we are just two months away from the election. But Alexis Keenan, appreciate you bringing us that.